Here's the UK and Ireland weather forecast for this coming May the 4th to the 6th, 2013. That's this Saturday through the weekend till Monday. Looking back on Friday then, it was a pleasant day towards the south and east of England, but a contrast over in Scotland where it was much colder, 7.1 degrees, the, the average there. The second warmest day of the year so far in England, but the coolest day in Scotland since April 12th. The low temperatures coming into Friday morning reached freezing in some areas, the least coldest night since April 23rd in Ireland now. And coming towards the next three days, we're going to have more sunny intervals from else, but staying wet, particularly in western Scotland. But many other areas will receive at least some uh, showery spells of rain as well, including central and southern England. Looking at the pressure charts, we can see a low pressure system moving through Scotland at the moment. And another one uh, further north near Iceland, which is sort of creating a split between that and the high pressure situated over the European continent. Now coming into Saturday, what we'll see is some showers moving through um, England from west to east during the day, but that will clear towards the afternoon first in the west, then towards the east, clearing, living, leaving some sunshine towards the end of the day. In Scotland, it's going to be very wet towards the northwest, and uh, for central parts of Scotland into the border region, it will be a pleasant day. But temperatures will reach 16 or 17 degrees Celsius, 63 degrees Fahrenheit in England, no higher than 11 in Scotland now. So looking towards Saturday night then, it's going to be mainly dry in almost all areas except perhaps some drizzle falling on the western coasts of Ireland. Um, and it'll be clear skies towards the northeast of England. Further south we'll have some clearer skies as well, partly cloudy, with more overcast skies towards the western coasts of the UK, of England and Wales, and Scotland as well, with low temperatures falling to around 7 degrees where it's clearest, um, and under the cloud probably no lower than 11 or maybe 10 degrees Celsius um, in Wales and in Ireland. Looking at Sunday as a whole, we're not going to see as many bright spells, but we will see some um, partly cloudy skies across the eastern coast of England and across the south coast as well. We'll be seeing some uh, sunny intervals creeping in there. But in Scotland, it's going to be a very wet day. Uh, lots of rain, particularly towards the western coasts, moving into Cumbria as well on Sunday with a high temperatures of 19 degrees towards the east of England, 64 degrees, 66 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and 17 degrees in Ireland as well. And coming into Sunday night, it's going to be another dry night for England, Wales and Ireland, but in Scotland we'll be seeing the remnants of the rain falling during the day, continuing into the night towards the southwest of Scotland and uh, creeping towards the north as well through the highlands. We'll be seeing some rain here. Elsewhere, it's going to be dry, overcast towards the north, clearer skies towards the east, um, with low temperatures of around 7 degrees in the northwest of England and in Wales. That'll be the low temperature we'll see there, but perhaps, perhaps no lower than 10 over in East Anglia. So now looking at Monday and this is probably going to be the best day of the next five days as far as England and Wales is concerned where we'll be seeing some mostly sunny skies, lengthy periods of sunshine, uh, rain towards Scotland once more, um, particularly towards the north, further south might get away without rain especially towards the southeast of Scotland where we'll see some partly cloudy skies and temperatures not looking too bad at all, especially for this time of year. We'll be seeing highs of 23 degrees towards the southeast of England, that's 73 Fahrenheit, with a high of 17 in Ireland and 15 in Scotland. And now looking at Monday night, it's certainly going to be more cloudy, except for the far southeast of England. And towards the west, um, the Irish Sea Coast, where perhaps we'll be seeing some rain, um, towards the southwest of England and Wales, we'll be seeing some uh, showery rain here, and towards the south of Ireland as well, rain falling overnight here. Uh, perhaps drizzly towards the west coast of Scotland overnight on Monday, with low temperatures for most of the country, England and Wales and Ireland, no lower than 10 degrees, staying in double figures, around 7 to 9 low in Scotland on Monday night. Looking back at the past few years, three or four years, um, the end of May has always seemed to be a very pleasant period with lots of warm sunshine, but that doesn't appear to be the case this year. It appears that there will be lots of unsettled weather towards the rest of May, the mid part, and the end of the month we'll be seeing lots of unsettled weather, and perhaps cooler temperatures as well, maybe below average. But um, nothing set in stone until it happens around these parts, is it? I'll be back with another forecast for the next three days on Monday night. That'll be May the 6th. Until then, enjoy the weather.